Hello everyone. My today's video is for all those who use Google Meet for their conferences or for online classes. Today I'm going to talk about few features and Chrome extensions for Google Meet. I'll also talk about some issues which generally people face while using Google Meet. First of all, I talk about how on a single click of a button we can mark attendance of all the participants in our meeting. Then I have also observed many people they face issue while sharing their video they are unable to share the sound. So I will give some tips how the sound of a video can easily be shared during your meetings. Then I will talk about uh, easy way of muting, unmuting yourself and how you can turn on and turn off your video with using shortcut keys. There is another add-on called Grid View which I feel is really helpful especially when the meeting has large number of participants. Some users also face issue while sharing their screen they are unable to see the participants of the meeting. So I will give some tips how we can see the participants while sharing our screen. Before I start let me congratulate Google who has brought continuous upgrades since the time of launch of Google Meet. First, let us talk about all the upgrades which Google has brought in Google Meet. First of all, I'll open meet.google.com and using my G Suite account, now it's called as Google Workspace for Education, I'll start the meeting and I'll try to join with two more devices. Now here I have joined with two more devices. The first updated feature which I am going to discuss is meeting safety or you can say host controls and you can reach it in three different ways. You can click on the icon left hand bottom of your screen. You can go to three dots on the right hand side of the screen. Go to settings host controls and the third way of reaching host controls is you click on the participant button and you can reach to some host controls here also view all host controls you will be able to see all the host controls now the first one is quick access if you turn it off uh, quick access on means you are uh, giving a quick access to the participants uh, if you turn it off what will happen the host must join first means the participants cannot join meeting before the host starts the meeting only people invited by the host can join the meeting without asking otherwise everybody has to take permission to enter the meeting whether those participants are from your organization or from outside your organization organization means google workspace for education and if you want you can uh, disable the option to share the screen by the participants participants will not able to share their screen send chat messages also you can disable means in this case you can send the messages whereas none of the participants can send the message it's unlike zoom zoom gives you option to uh, chat only with host but in google meet as of now if you disable it participants cannot send any message neither to the host nor to the other participants right the next feature is here raise hand initially when it was launched google meet was launched this feature was missing now raise hand option is there the participant if they wish to speak anything in between the meeting they can raise their hand and uh, then if you click on these three dots on right hand bottom corner you can see the first option is whiteboard whiteboard this whiteboard is different from the whiteboard which you find in zoom app this whiteboard is a jam board which is much interactive you can share this jam board with your participants i think jam board uh, itself requires full youtube video so i think jam board full topic we can take it later you click on this jam board participants will receive a link and uh, they can also collaborate so it's a very good collaboration uh, tool then change layout options gives you the option of auto layout tile layout spotlight and uh, then now you have the option of uh, 49 participants you can see 49 participants on the screen 
earlier this option was not available there were limited number of participants which were visible on the google meet tab all right next feature i'm going to discuss here is the change the change background option three dots you click there is a change background option again initially this was not there you can blur your background and blur also there are two options slight blur blur or full blur and then there are some inbuilt backgrounds if you are using google workspace for education using the admin settings you can disable all the people in the organization to use any external background means the participants will be able to use only the backgrounds which are provided in the google meet right next one is mute all option you click on the participants button then there is an option to mute all the participants but in this case participants can unmute themselves it's unlike zoom in zoom you can uh, mute all and you can enable the option that participants cannot unmute themselves but in google meet the mute all means in one instant you will mute everyone who is present in the meeting and they will have the option to unmute themselves afterwards these are a couple of features which were added by google one more important thing if you are using google workspace for education from the admin settings you can ensure that students they cannot rename themselves so i think that's one of the biggest problem which zooms uses fine when the teachers they use the zoom ids sometimes the students they share it with the people outside the organization and they walk into your classes with different names sometimes name of principal sometimes your your name and sometimes very embarrassing names also and that can be fixed in google meet very easily if in admin setting you ensure that the people in your organization they cannot change the names that setting can be enabled right uh another setting i have already spoken about is children cannot the students cannot start the meeting before the host starts the meeting that is also possible in admin settings of your google workspace account in case you wish to record your meetings you have to click on these three dots and there is a button record meeting by default this option is disabled you have to enable this option from your admin console so admin can enable it and then the teachers can record their classrooms or their meetings now i will talk about a couple of extension the first extension which i spoke in the beginning was marking attendance how you can mark attendance of the participants and especially if your meeting has large number of participants in one single click you can take the attendance i'll show you um, if you click on this uh, show everyone button you click on add people and there's a button called save attendance you click on save attendance immediately one csv file will be downloaded in your system and that csv file will show the participants of your meeting along with the time at what time they have joined the meeting now you can see the participants who joined this meeting and the time also mentioned i have taken one such uh, uh, excel file a large excel file i'll explain how you can handle it also sometimes because you can see somebody joined somebody left it happens because the internet connection is unstable so in order to sort it out what you people can do is you can use filters applying filters you sort out these with the timings and if you want to check only entry time what you can do is you can delete the duplicate entries in the excel remove duplicate entries in column a right now i am left with only the participants joining time right so it's easy for me to mark the attendance right and it also shows the who joined late so this is about uh, marking attendance in your google meet on a single click and i'm sure it's going to help you next one is muting and unmuting yourself a shortcut there is a, an inbuilt shortcut key if you press control d you can unmute and mute yourself you can see it on the screen the mute button is enabled and disabled if i press control d 
But uh, sometimes teachers or students, they find it very difficult to press Ctrl D. Then there is an option. You can download another extension, which is called as Google Meet Push Talk, Push to Talk. I will share uh, the link for all these extensions in uh, the description of this video. You can just click on those extensions and you can download it if you wish. So Google Meet Push to Talk, if you have downloaded this extension, what will happen with Spacebar? You can mute and unmute yourself, especially if you're teaching uh, primary section and kindergartners, you can send a message to the parents. They can uh, download this extension and using just using Spacebar, they can mute and unmute themselves. And if you wish to use a shortcut key for uh, switching on and off your camera, you can use Control E. Control E, you can switch on your camera. Control E, you can switch off your camera. Next one is, yes, a bigger challenge which people who use Meet, they face. A bigger challenge is sharing the sound of a video. The videos generally teachers share in two different ways. One, they share a YouTube video and teachers may also share a video which is saved in the system. Sharing a video in your browser is much easier task. Suppose I open any youtube.com, right? So I have opened my YouTube channel and this is a video, yeah. Now what happens if the participants are not able to hear the sound of the video, what you can do is when you click on present now, you will get three options, your entire screen, a window or a tab. Press on a tab. If you click on a tab button, now you will get an option which tab you wish to share. And just at the bottom of this screen, you will have an option of sharing an audio. This is in case you are sharing a video in a browser. It may be a YouTube video. It may be through any other website. But if you are sharing a video from your computer, it will not work because it, it will show you only the Chrome tabs. For that, what you need to do is I'll give a very simple way. You copy this meeting link and you open this meeting link in a new tab. Now, when you start or join any meeting, you will be asked whether you want to join now or you want to present. Instead of clicking on join now, you click on present button. Now it will ask you what exactly you want to present. You want to present a Chrome tab. You want to present your entire screen. You want to present application window. Click on your entire screen. You want to share entire screen. Now again, you will have an option of sharing an audio. So if you enable this sharing an audio, what and you select this window and share it. Now what will happen? The participants will able to listen to any video which you play in your system. Whether you play this video through your Windows tab or you are playing it through your browser or you are playing a saved video in your system. Another issue which generally people or teachers face is that they always complain that whenever they share their screen, they are unable to see the participants. I'll discuss three different ways. One is the shared screen you can just drag it down it will open in a different window you resize the window which you want to share and you resize the google meet browser window this is how you can see the shared screen as well as the participants there is one more way on a single click of a button there is another add-on called Dulis. So if you click on this button, it will ask you in which ratio you want to split your screen. Now it immediately will split the screen into two parts. But the problem is it works only with the browser windows. It will not work with any file or the folder which is open in your system, which is shared in your system. 
for that what you need to do is you need to resize your windows one the browser one and the other one which, which you are sharing with your students ah uh, there is one more way which i have seen many teachers or people they use they use two different devices on one device you can share your screen on other device you can see the participant so these are three ways how we can see the participants of our meeting or our class so um so i have explained how we can share the sound of the video which you're sharing i have explained how you can see the participants in your meeting along with the shared screen and next one is this grid option this is a, a, a another amazing feature you know another amazing extension i would say so what you can do is you click on extensions and you uh click on uh, a uh, google meet grid view so it's um, more beneficial when there are large number of participants there are couple of options in it you can try you can explore it uh, only show participant with video it will show only those participants which are there with video so now uh, the other two participants were without video so it won't show you right another option is enable screen capture mode you have some advanced settings which you can explore it yourself so i talked about few extensions the first extension is google meet attendance i spoke about uh, push to talk button with a single tab you can uh, mute and unmute yourself then dualis is used to split the screen and uh, grid view if especially when the number of participants are large so that's all about uh, today's video i'm sure it is going to help all those who use google meet for their online classes or for conferences so that's all for today thank you so much have a wonderful day if you like the video hit on like button and subscribe for more videos and you can share if you like it thank you so much